Now peeps, it's over for OTF. It looks like Dirk slid for Vaughn and slid right into a damn jail cell. Now the feds picked up little Dirk, aka the voice for killing Quando Rondo's cousin, Lil Pap, that happened back in 2022, and it was in retaliation for taking out the demon King Vaughn. Now Dirk recently attempted to change his life around and throw off the feds, but his change was way too late. Now reports are indicating that OTF suspects flew to LA and was given vehicles, guns, and they began tracking Quando Rondo's whereabouts. They finally spotted him in a gas station and that's when the assault took place. Now the co-conspirator named Grant had evidence that he purchased the cars and took the OTF hitters to a burger joint in LA County where payment for the hit was discussed. Now Lil Durk allegedly promised the hitters a record deal with OTF. Dirk was quickly implicated by an OTF member and a snitch after it was alleged that he was wearing a wire the whole entire time and reporting every move back to the feds. I saw the whole thing. Now Dirk was taken into custody by US Marshals and booked into the Broward County Jail and his lawyers confirmed the hip hop star was busted by the Marshals adding that he will have his first appearance Friday in a federal court in Miami. Now the feds busted five OTF members in connection to the August 2022 shooting in Los Angeles that killed Quando Rondo's cousin. All have been charged in a federal indictment with a conspiracy to commit murder for hire. Now back in November 2020, King Von was fatally taken out by Quando Rondo's associate Lil Tim during an altercation. Tim was initially charged with the murder, but the case was later on dismissed. Now the irony is that Little Dirk just received two keys to the city just two days ago after trying to change his life. Now let's hope those keys to the city can open up his jail cell. Now here is the full breakdown and what got Dirk locked up to begin with. Now initially Dirk and YB was actually cool. King Von came home and became popular on the Chicago rap scene. Now King Von actually wanted a feature from YB, however YB allegedly doesn't give anybody features. Now King Von began sneak dissing YB every time he went live on social media trying to get up under his skin. Then King Von tried bullying Quando Rondo. Now King Von allegedly smashed YB's baby mother and this caused the beef to spiral even further. Then YB came out and dissed King Von. Now Von and Quando got into a brawl where King Von got shot after his crew started jumping him. Now it was crazy how the power of life and death lies within the tongue. Now numerous reports online are suggesting that another OTF affiliate named OT Jam may have wore a wire in the case involving Dirk as well as others. He reportedly served a 12 year sentence in prison and came home and then got booked shortly on a gun charge right after allegedly Dirk gave him $50,000 as a coming home gift. Give him 50, he ain't gotta ask again, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? He ain't gotta ask shit, bro. He said he gave you 50, bro. You know what I'm Fact. Fact. <laughs> 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 but so can you tell us how much uh, he gave you, or you don't want to even? No, no, no. 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 I ain't got to give him all that, but bro made sure like he made away from me. Well, they say the chickens coming home to roost. Yeah, yeah. I turn off the comments. Yeah, that's that's how you that's how you beat the trolls. That's how you beat the haters. You don't even let them talk. Silence them. So all they can do is just look. <laughs> all they can do is just look. Good morning. Say, ain't nobody laughing at dirt like they were laughing at me when I went to jail. I <laughs> know what I'm So ain't nobody laughing at dirt. Now it ain't funny. Now your favorite rapper, 
go to jail and look like he got a no bond like me. <laughs> but that boy got a federal no bond. Ooh, I bet that nigga ass hold and closed up. He got a burp to pass that. Man. He can't even fart out his ass. I know, I know the feeling. Boy, they get your ass and they put a hole on you. Boy, nigga booty be tight and the motherfucker sitting on that bench. <laughs> Say, let's make fun of dirt like y'all made fun of me. Especially when y'all thought I got slapped. Look like that boy has in trouble. No wonder he was running the high life. He might want to convert back to Christianity. The Lord Jesus Christ has mercy and compassion. That motherfucking high life, high life don't give a damn. He catch you doing wrong, he busting your ass. He gonna hit you across your head. <laughs> Jesus and the Lord, with that blonde hair, he way more forgiving than Allah. <laughs> I probably with Jesus. I fell on my knees and called on the Lord Jesus Christ. Psalm 91, mama say, that Allah awake by, didn't get them motherfuckers out there. What's that motherfucker they had in Cuba? That prison they had in Cuba that they got all the terrorists and put their ass in and gave them no trial. <laughs> Some of them motherfuckers still in there. Guantanamo Bay is what it's called. They, they put them boys ass in Guantanamo Bay. I lying free now, motherfuckers. Boys, he got an album coming out. Won't be no album release party. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, no, them boys mad and the motherfucker. The money gone. Ooh wee. I know my people was a little sick when I was gone. I left the bank card with my mouth. <laughs> Shout out to Lil Tim. <laughs> Salute to Lil Tim. The demons stay up. Good God of mine. <laughs> boy, I'm just saying, y'all. Listen, I'm just saying, boys and girl. It's going to be rough on his ass in California. I bet he going to PC. Them California niggas gonna try to extort it. One thing we know about California, the Crips and Bloods rule. I didn't, can't get out. Oh man, you don't know who the who the you don't know what to think. Man, I got money and I can't get out of jail. I thought money. The Bible says money answereth all things. I'm telling they say the Bible. The Bible say money answereth all things. <laughs> it's better get you goddamn money. But you better not do nothing bad enough where they put a no hole on your ass. That no hole is a motherfucker. Oh, that motherfucker no hole is a motherfucking motherfucker. Oh, I'm on my way to the bank this morning. I'm feeling jubilee. <laughs> I'm feeling jubilee. I swear to God I am. Oh, I swear to God I'm feeling jubilee. I swear to God I'm feeling jubilee. I'm talking about excited. and safety supplies. Yeah, yeah. AED training. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about I am, I'm at, I am excited. One thing about it, assalamu alaikum, they look out for each other. <laughs> see, see, boy, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Boy, I'm riding through Oak Cliff right now. Boy, it's a beautiful, I'm finna ride by where Mo3 got killed at here in a minute. I like to ride by there and reminisce. I'm finna ride by where they killed Mo3 at here in a minute. Oh, there we go. Clean that motherfucking glass so we can see better. Yeah, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And they thought Uncle Hart couldn't grow no more. Yeah, they thought Uncle Hart couldn't grow no more. Boy, I'm for the grow my motherfucking fro. Yeah. No motherfucker ain't blowing it.